We begin with a shakeup at the top of one of the nation's most prominent universities. The president of Harvard, Claudine Gay, resigned today following accusations of plagiarism and the university's alleged mishandling of anti-Semitism on campus since the start of the war between Israel and Hamas. The announcement comes less than a month after her congressional testimony that sparked outrage and intense backlash both from critics and prominent university donors. Gay becomes the second Ivy League leader to step down following last month's contentious hearing before the House Committee on Education. CBS's Nicole Killian has been following this story from the beginning and is here to start us off tonight. Nicole. Good evening. Good evening, Major. Pressure had been building on Claudine Gay to step down. Even though she apologized for her testimony last month, it wasn't enough, making her the shortest serving president in the history of the university. Six months into her tenure, Harvard University President Claudine Gay announced she's resigning so that our community can navigate this moment of extraordinary challenge. Gay's resignation comes nearly a month after she and the presidents of UPenn and MIT faced widespread condemnation following this testimony at a House education hearing on anti-Semitism on college campuses. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. It does not depend on the context. The answer is yes, and this is why you should resign. These House Republican Chair Elise Stefanik, a Harvard alum, posted two down, referring to Gay and Penn President Liz McGill, who also resigned days after the hearing. While Harvard's governing board initially backed Gay, she faced increasing scrutiny following charges of plagiarism in her dissertation and several articles, including reports of a new complaint filed this week. Gay, who was Harvard's first black female president, denied the allegations of plagiarism and stated, it has been distressing to have doubt cast on my commitment to confronting hate and to upholding scholarly rigor and frightening to be subjected to personal attacks and threats fueled by racial animus. It came out of nowhere. Jonathan Frieden is a Harvard law student who attended the congressional hearing and has experienced anti-Semitism on campus. The issues that exist are systemic and they still need to be addressed. So you think this is just the beginning? I hope that this is just the beginning. Harvard's governing body says Gay will stay on as a faculty member, and they have named an interim president. Tonight, there are now new calls for MIT's president to step down, although the school's board has previously said she has their full support, Major. Nicole Killian, thank you so much.